Hi guys and welcome to my tutorial about uh, how to set up a, a smart DNS proxy or a smart VPN. Uh, before I begin, I would like to apologize for my uh, bad English. It's uh, not a native language. So um, what I'm going to be showing you today is this site, which is called smartdnsproxy.com. Feel free to uh, click on the link below this video, uh, sign up and uh, check uh, are there any current promotions. As usually you have a free trial you can sign up with, but they're, they're, they're releasing other promotions as well. Uh, since I already have an account, I'm just going to log in really quick. There it is. And yes, I have a uh, one year subscription. So uh, what do I need to use this site? I need to use this site so I can get a uh, DNS address which will allow me to uh, visit the uh, big streaming websites which are usually geography restricted. I'm um, just going to give you a really quick example of what I mean. Uh, let's go to Netflix. and. As I'm trying to enter, you can see that Netflix is not allowing me to sign up or view any of their contents because I'm not located in the USA. And let's say if I go to Pandora, um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the same message. Yeah, there it is. And let's say if I go to a video streaming site like um, bbc.co.uk or abc i'm gonna get the same or error when uh, trying to view their content so in order for me to be able to view their content i need to get a dns address i need to set it up so going back to my account here uh, which uh, i've already subscribed for it i all i have to do is uh, click a click click here on setup and then the site is going to allow me to choose on what device am I setting up the DNS server for. I'm currently on Windows 7, so I'm just going to click that. And here are the very basic instructions that they give you. It's basically that you have to con um, you have to go to your local area connection, which is it's explained here, but I'm going to do it nevertheless which is control panel, network and sharing center, connections, local area connections. And here you click on properties and then internet protocol version 4 and properties again. And here you need to click on use the following DNS server addresses. And the site is telling me use the closest server to your physical location as preferred DNS server. So the closest server, since I'm in Bulgaria, the closest server to me is Turkey Istanbul. So I need to enter this address, this DNS address. Let's do it. Okay, I just entered the uh, smart DNS addresses and I restarted my computer. It's important to know that whenever you're making these changes, you need to reboot your router and, your, and the uh, device you're using. So again, I'm going to log in into my account and smart DNS proxy. And you can see that the DNS is now configured properly. So if I try to go, let's say to Pandora, I don't have the restriction message anymore and I can register for free and start listening to music. Or if let me go back and show you the bbc.co.uk iPlayer and try to play something random from there just to make sure that everything's working. Um, yep. There it is, it works perfectly. You need to know that you're not going to have any delays in the video loadings when you're using the smart DNS address. It's not going to uh, reflect to the quality of the video or how fast it loads. And let's just go to ABC as well and try to view something from their shows like or, or come, like just something random. Uh, Lily.
Yeah, basically I need to uh, I need to sign into my provider and watch it because it's a, a new edition of a show. But if it's something like ten days old, I can watch it um, w without any problems. So this is the site. It's called Smart DNS Proxy, and feel free to click on the link uh, below this video to 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 receive a promotion if there's uh, any at the moment. Other than that, you can always sign up for a free trial or subscribe for a uh, low monthly fee. Other than that, um, I think I think that's pretty much it. And uh, thanks for watching.